welcome to this reflection. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Jesus asks Simon Peter in the 21st chapter of John's Gospel. Conversion is a process. It tends to happen in stages. We experience one level of conversion, but as we face the pressures of life, the strength of our conviction is tested, and we may be called to an even deeper level of conversion. Even when we know what is important to us, we sometimes waver under pressure. Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends, denied that he even knew him on the night of his arrest. It's sometimes not easy to act on what we believe when we feel threatened by the cost that may demand of us. It's hard to be a whistleblower against corruption when it means that we may lose our job or our circle of friends. And sometimes we compromise because of peer pressure. Sometimes, like Peter, we may fear for our lives or the safety of our family if we stand up for the truth. Peter betrays his own love for Jesus when he runs away at the moment when Jesus needs him. However, after the resurrection, when Jesus appears beside the Sea of Galilee, Jesus invites Peter to reaffirm his love, asking him three times, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He's given another chance from a place of greater humility and maturity to take up the work of being a shepherd. Jesus warns him that this love will ultimately come at a great cost. And like Peter, we also are given the chance to come back again to a deeper sense of our call to a new level of conversion. We are invited to a deeper commitment to live out our call regardless of the cost of that discipleship. And like Peter, we are given courage and the capacity to stand up for the truth. Where might God be asking you to stand up for the truth today? Let's pray. Loving God, when my commitment wavers in the face of opposition, may I hear your call to recommit myself to the mission your love has entrusted to me. Amen. May God bless you.